So how you doing? Once again, I'm Chris Ignato and this is part of my senses series. So the last sense I talked about exercising was your sense of sound. And I really suggest you work on that. Um, it's very beneficial and if you haven't already seen the video, go back and check it out. Now, today I want to talk about scent. You can find a lot based on scent and it can tell you so much. And there are so many ways to exercise that sense. Uh, one of them is just pay more attention to what you smell. I mean, it's the easiest one, right, to do in a way. You know, anytime you get your lunch or dinner or anything like that, just take the time to stop and smell it for a minute. Just smell it. Now try to notice different ingredients. Try to notice the main body or the symphony of all the fragrances combined. You know, pay attention to them um, before each bite. Even notice what you smell while you're eating it, and it can make your meal more enjoyable. And in some ways, it can actually make it so that you eat less because you're getting more out of each bite. Now, different ways to exercise it outdoors. There are so many. I like to stop and smell everything. Anytime I see a flower, I have to smell it. I just have to. I love that fragrance. And um, I will pick up leaves and smell them. I will stop and I smell the soil. You know, a nice loamy soil to me smells beautiful, it smells delicious in a way. The smell of the leaves themselves, of each plant, like spice bush. If you find yourself a spice bush tree, just lightly bruise the leaf, ball it up ever so gently, and then smell it. It's a beautiful fragrance. What I really love is sassafras. The young twigs smell like fruity pebbles, and the older twigs smell like root beer, or licorice in a way. In fact, root beer is made out of them. Um, please give it a try. It smells really cool, actually. I always smell bodies of water. I'm always stopping to smell water. You know, whether it's a wetland or a swamp or a pond or a lake. Different lakes have, every different lake has a different smell. And some of them are exquisite. They smell like the ocean. Speaking of which, pay attention when you're at the ocean, at the beach. Smell that salty air. I'm sure just by talking about it, you're reminiscing. And you're remembering that beautiful fragrance you smell when you get to the beach. You know, the way things smell before a storm, always stop and smell before it rains or snows. Pay attention to that. It's very useful. Smelling these bodies of water can help you to learn when you're not far from a body of water. Um, I've had it help me plenty of times. Smelling a wetland, smelling a bog, a salt marsh. Most of you probably know that fragrance. It's amazing. Be very curious. Bend little twigs, bend bark. If you find a piece of bark on the ground, smell it. I've noticed the smell of bees. They smell like ozone. They almost smell like uh, the static in front of a TV screen, you know, with a little bit of honey. They smell like electricity. They really do. Uh, different insects have different fragrances, just like lightning bugs, you know, uh, blister beetles. They all have their own fragrance, some of which I can't tell, some I can. Um, the smell of my dog when she's sleeping, the smell of her neck, I love that smell. Um, if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, they smell different when they're asleep. You know, just start paying attention to all these fragrances and experiment, you know, stop to smell the flowers as often as possible. And what will happen is you'll start, be, you'll start to walk the landscape and actually guess or estimate what's around each bend based on the fragrances you smell. And it can help you. You can find food that way. You can smell when a deer's in the rut and it's rubbed on a tree, you know? Um, some people say copperheads smell like cucumbers. I've never experienced that, but you never know. I have smelled the musk from garter snakes while walking down a path and I knew that someone potentially stepped on one or startled one. So I looked under the log right by there and sure enough, there was a garter snake, you know? Um, and it must. So it will benefit you. There's a lot to pick up from smelling fragrances and there's a lot to see with your nose. You know, many insects and animals rely solely on scent to get around. We can too, you know? Try blindfolding yourself and having a friend put different fruit on the table and try to guess what they are based on the scent alone. There's some people who are so good they can smell perfume and tell you all the ingredients within that perfume. 
I would love to be that skilled, but I'm not. So anyhow, please give it a try. Check it out. I might expand on this video in the future, but until then, something to chew on, for lack of better words. I'm Chris Ignato. Thanks for watching my video. Signing out.